So in today's video, I want to show you how simple it is to bring in and preview an NDI and an SRT feed into the D350. Let's get started. All right, so let's jump right in and get started. Just so you know what's going on off camera over here to my left, I have my iPad and that's streaming an NDI feed to the decoder. And over here on my right, I have my iPhone streaming an SRT feed over to the D350. So looking at the UI, you can see we don't have anything down here yet in the sources window. And up here in the preview window, we also do not have anything to preview. So to get these sources into the decoder, it's very, very simple. We'll bring in the NDI feed first. We're gonna do that by simply coming over and clicking on the green discover button. And here you can see it's automatically seeing the iPad NDI source. It's an NDI HX camera. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna check that and we're gonna say add. It says the source has been added successfully, so we'll close the window. And now down here in the sources area, you can see the Tony iPad NDI HX camera feed. Now it's grayed out because we're not previewing it yet at this point. Now that we have the NDI source in the decoder, let's go ahead and add the SRT source. So we're gonna do that by coming over to the add button just to the left of the discover button. That's going to open up an add source window. First thing we're gonna do is give it a name. Now I'm using an app on my phone called Stream to Studio. So I'll put a link to that app down in the video comments. It's a great app for streaming SRT. So we'll go ahead and get that to you again in the comments. But for now, I'm gonna call this Stream to Studio. And then we're gonna come over to the source type and we're gonna select SRT. I'm going to leave the connection mode set to listener. I'm going to leave the port mode set to 1025. Now you can make this whatever you want as long as you match it on the source side. The latency I am going to drop from 125. It defaults the decoder to 125 milliseconds. I'm going to set it to 120 milliseconds because that's what I have set on my iPhone app. Now we do have some advanced settings that are currently hidden. If we show the advanced settings, you can see we can add things like an SRT stream ID, encryption, which is a really neat thing. With SRT, it can be encrypted on both ends. We have the SRAES key as well, bandwidth percentage we can control. But for now, I'm just going to hide all the advanced settings. We're going to leave everything here set the way it is and click OK. And you can see, again, we have another added successfully message. So now, in addition to the NDI feed, we also have the SRT feed here. Notice both are grayed out. Now, to preview either one or both, you simply just drag and drop up into the preview window. So let's bring the NDI feed in first. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to drag it. You see here it turns green, and there's the feed. Now, this is a live feed. If I pass my hand over the camera, you can see that it is a live feed. If I come up to the little eyeball here, I can click on the eyeball and up in the corner here, it's showing you, I know it's hard to see in this video, but it's showing you all the statistics of the feed. For example, the URL, the bit rate, the video codec, and the resolution. So that's a really cool feature. Now, if I wanted to see the SRT feed, I could bring it in. I just have to drag it into the preview window. It's turning orange. It should turn blue, and then it should turn green. Once it turns green, it should appear in the preview window. And there we go. And this is my iPhone camera over here to my right side. So now, again, if we hit the little eyeball, it'll bring up all the feed statistics for the SRT feed. It's giving you the URL, the bit rate, the Kodak, the resolution, the SRT mode, the live status the received total, the lost packets total, the skipped packets, used bandwidth, and the RTT in milliseconds. So again, it's nice to have these statistics, especially if you need to do some troubleshooting. So remember, just turn the eyeball on and off to toggle on those statistics. Now, let's just see. say you want to see both feeds at one time. Come over here and you can click a different layout. And now this is the SRT feed right here. If I bring in the NDI feed, now I could see both feeds side by side. Now, I'd like to also mention that the decoder can store up to an unlimited amount of sources down in this area here. You can preview 
one source, two sources like you see here, four sources, there's a layout for nine sources, all the way up to 16 sources. I think that's a really cool feature of this device. So there it is. It's super, super simple to bring in an NDI source, an SRT source, or any source for that matter that this decoder can support. If you like this type of content and would like to see more like this, please click the video over here. Thank you so much for watching.